Hello, my dear friends. Today, let's have a look at the YouTube API with a .NET Web API. So this is a beginner tutorial for that matter, but for a long time, I'd wanted to check out the YouTube API. So how can you grab, for instance, a list of videos from a specific channel? This is what we're going to do today, and that's pretty much it already. But for future tutorials, I will definitely dive deeper into this. I just want to know if you're interested in that as well. And if you are, and you learned something, and you like this tutorial, then maybe you would like to hit the like button on uh, the on your screen here. Thank you very much for that. And if you want to make a difference and support me, then please, guys, subscribe to my channel. It does make a difference. Thank you so much. And if you want to support me even further, then please check out the link in the video description for my Patreon page. So thank you so much to all my patrons already. I love you forever, guys. And now let's start with the tutorial. First things first, we need an API key. So how do you get one? Well, you can just Google for where is my YouTube API key. And in this entry here, you will come here. So there's the YouTube data API overview. And this thing will lead you to the Google Developers Console. You need a Google account and then you come here, you create a new project. For instance, call this thing my YouTube app and then you can create credentials. And here you can go there and for instance, you see this is my API key and I can trust you guys, right? So you, you won't use that key here, right? So this is what we need. And another thing we need is the channel ID from the channel where we want to get the videos from. So here, for instance, is my channel. You see this beautiful little button here, subscribe. If you want, you can click that, of course. And regarding the ID, well, it's not that thing, right? So this is the new handle. This is not what we want. So how do we get the ID if you don't see it already in the address bar? Because sometimes you see it there, but if not, you can just right click on a channel view page source and search for channel forward slash. And there you see it. This is the ID UC Q8 and so on. So with that, you can actually grab all the videos from any channel you want. This is what we need the API key and the channel ID. And when you got this, then we can go to Visual Studio. And as you can see here, I just created a simple .NET 8 web API project, already removed the example stuff, the weather forecast stuff. And then the very first step we need is a NuGet package. So right click our project, manage NuGet packages. And here then we go to YouTube. And that's already the one we need. Google APIs YouTube version three. So install that thing, double check here, and we see that's what we want. And with that already, I just create a fat controller. I know I shouldn't do that, but I don't care for this tutorial. So here we just add our new beautiful YouTube controller. There it is. Real quick, I'm currently creating a .NET 8 Web Dev Jumpstart course, which will be available for free. We're going to have a look at web APIs and entity framework there, for instance. And if you want to be the first to know when this thing is available, then I recommend just check out the link in the video description and I will send you an email when you can get it. So scroll a bit further down and then you know what to do. And now let's continue with the tutorial. And now this thing gets only one method. So I really just want to get all the videos in essence, all the public videos from a specific channel. So we start with HTTP get and here we say public async task returning an I action result. Let's call this get channel channel videos. And that's pretty much it. All right. In the beginning, we will see that there are some things that we might want to improve, but let's just do this one step after another. The first thing now we need is our YouTube service. So var YouTube service. And here already we, of course, use our beautiful new YouTube API that we got from NuGet. So a new YouTube service, that thing. And here now we put a new base client service. Let me just uh, remove the solution explorer. A initializer it shall be, and this thing gets two arguments. Let me just add the using directive here. And this thing now again gets an API key. 
and also an application name. All right, now here is a little typo. It's the initializer, API key, again, this is that thing. So we just paste this here. And regarding the application name, actually it didn't really matter in my case. So my YouTube app is the name I chose here. So maybe my YouTube app, I mean, why not? And with that now, we have our YouTube service where YouTube is not a word. That's interesting. Well, we're using uh, .NET 8 here with the current version of the preview edition of Microsoft Visual Studio. So maybe there are some things that could be improved probably. All right, so with that, we got our YouTube service and this is already a big step, right? Because now you can create a search request using this YouTube service and with that search request then, well, we get the video list. Isn't that great? So let's create our search request. Bar search request, this is the first thing we need. And here we say YouTube service search list and then snippet. Now why snippet? Well, with the snippet, we get the snippet information of a video, like the title, the video ID, and with the help of the video ID, we can create our link, for instance, for the video, the thumbnail, the published date, and also a snippet of the description. So that's why snippet makes sense here, definitely. But this search request should really get some more parameters. First thing is the, or the next thing is the channel ID. So now we just uh, straightforward stuff actually set all the requests, uh, request parameters that are interesting for us. So here now my channel ID, then let's say we already want to order that stuff. So search request order and then search resource, nope, search resource list request order enum dates, All right? You've seen it here, there are other options like the view count, title, rating, and so on. But I'm interested in the date here. And for now, let's just leave it at that. To get the response now, we say var search response is await search request, execute async. All right, now the thing is, how does the search response actually look like? Well, maybe let's just have a look and then you will see that again, we can improve this a little bit. There we are, we have our endpoint. Let's try this out, hit execute. And whoa, that's interesting, right? So we get, yeah, here is the first video with the channel ID. We get the beginning of the description. Check out my web dev jumpstart course for free, of course, if you want to donate, patrickgard.com some dates. And I think this is this thumbnail then. Well, lots and lots of data that I'm not really interested in. I, I want this way cleaner, please. So let's change that a little. I want specific video details. And for that, let's create another class. So it is a bit more organized. We add a new folder, add our models here and add another item called video details. And in here, we add some properties. First one is the title, then we've got the link, then the thumbnail. And the last thing I'm interested in is actually a date time offsets. And this is then the published date. So published at maybe these are the video details. All right. So now back to the controller. And here now we create our response. So var video list is search response, then our items. And here we choose or use the select method with every item video. So with for every item, we create a new video details instance, actually. And there we set title to item snippet, and then the title. Now to get the link, I would say it's HTTPS colon double slash www.youtube.com watch question mark V and then there it would be the item ID and then the video ID. All right. So with that, we already have our link can come in pretty handy when you have that available in your JSON result. Now the thumbnail is item snippets 
thumbnails. And we've got similar uh, several versions. So let's say medium URL and then published at is item snippet published at date time offsets. And then I want to order that. So order by descending video, video published at and turn this into a list and in the end now return the video list. All right, let's have a look at the results. Try this out. We hit execute. Looks better, I guess. So this is my latest video, build a Twitter or X scheduler with .NET 8 and hang fire. Got the link, the thumbnail URL and also the publish date. Isn't that nice? But the thing is, already stops here. So you see one, two, three, four, five videos. That's not a lot. I got a couple more videos on my channel. So how can we fix that? Well, we can set another request parameter. So additionally to the order, we can say search request and then max results. And you can set this to 100. Maximum is really 50. So when we do that, we see that we now should get 50 videos. I'm not counting that now, but these are 50. But when you have more, what can you do? Well, this is where a page token comes in. So let's modify our endpoint or method here a bit further. So what I would like to add is a page token because that's what uh, the YouTube API can give us. And also let's uh, set the max results here. By default, this is 50 because that's the maximum, but maybe you want that or you want a different value here. So let's just use a parameter for that. So we've got our maximum results and then we also need a page token. So search request page token is page token. And with that, now we can really move between the pages, right? So first page, second page and so on, and then move back again. But to be able to do that, well, we have to also return not only the video list, but also the tokens for the next page and the previous page. So that's where another model comes in. So let's create now our YouTube response. So here a new item, YouTube response. And here now we have a list with uh, video details. By the way, if you made it that far and you hear these funny noises, that's my baby girl in the baby sling currently. She also wants to learn .NET, of course, and how to get her videos when she's creating a YouTube channel. But she has lots of time before starting her own channel. All right, so the video list, that's the videos and next page token. And then let me just copy that. That should be the previous page token and we're done with that. So here now the final response is a new YouTube response. All right. And here let's say videos is the video list. The next page token is search response, next page token, and the previous page token is search response, and then the previous page token. And in the end, we return this response. Save everything, and now let's have a look. Here we are, and you see results. Next results 50. Now we've got a page token here. So now let's hit execute. We see 50 videos and now we've got our next page token. Put this here and we should get our next 50 results. All right, where do we land here? January 11th, a walking skeleton for a .NET 6 Blazor application. Why not? And here now we can also access the previous page and the next page again. So this is how we get the list of the videos. Do whatever you want with that. And if you want to do more and want me to create another tutorial where I show you how to do anything else with the YouTube API, then please tell me that in the comments below. 
Thank you very much. If you like this video and learned something, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, maybe even subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. It does make a difference. And thank you so much to all my patrons for supporting me. I love every single one of you. And if you want to support me too, then check out the link in the video description below. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I see you in the next one. Take care.